So this was thanks to the unknown video game hunter again. Basically, the sale said she had all Nintendo games for different prices. The box games were 15. I guess people started hitting her up, so she decided that she was gonna sell them all at once. I decided to take a chance and go there anyway, and just to see if I, what I can do. I was able to get there just before a guy that I knew was coming for them because he just started asking the minute I left. I paid 50 for everything. Um, Rockin' Ball, Friday the 13th, Dodgeball, and Mad Max. And all together, like I said, 50 bucks, which is a great deal. Later. So this is the craziest place I ever done a pickup. It's between two cornfields. I paid 60 bucks for everything, a 2DS, um, five games, including um, Animal Crossing and Mario Kart, and then a 3DS, Mario, and a Persona 3DS, and all together, 60 bucks later. So this was a Facebook deal, picked up Resident Evil, just boxing cart, and together was 50 bucks, which is not bad. Later. So at Retro Game Plus, I just got the Nightmare on Elm Street for 40 bucks. Um, it's go going right now for about 55, and I couldn't remember if I had it. So for 40 bucks, it's worth taking, especially since it's credit. At the flea, the guy didn't want to break them up and he had a bunch of them, but nothing good. Only these three, and I paid 20 bucks, which is not bad. Later. My name is Manny, and I have a problem. Picked up a DJ Hero, this is the Renegade Edition. Um, it's all there for 25 bucks, and I have no idea why I bought it, but 25 bucks still not a bad deal. So at the pawn shop over there, never been in this area, so I paid 40 bucks for everything. Got a um, WCW Super Brawl, this is like a $20 game. Motley Crew, or actually Crew Ball. Um, Rambo for the Sega Master System. Space Harrier, and the best game was Alex the Kid. In Miracle World, this game goes for about 50 bucks these days, so a good deal there. Later. At the pawn shop over here, just paid uh, six bucks for it. Young Indiana Jones and um, Guitar Hero Metallica. At the pawn shop over here, just paid two bucks for NCAA Football 13, so not a bad deal. Later. This was a Facebook deal, paid 20 bucks for everything. Killer Instinct, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World, Crazy Taxi, and Code Veronica, all together, 20 bucks. At the sale over here, just got these for three bucks. Tony Hawk, Naruto, Pass of the Ninja, and SmackDown vs. Raw, 2008, all together, three bucks. And later. Alright guys, so here my pickups for the last week or so. As always, we'll do pawn shops, flea markets, street stores, garage sales, and everything in between. We'll start with the most shameful pickup. Um, this is a, basically a DJ Hero. I think it's a Renegade Edition, or at least that's what they call it. Um, not sure why I picked it up. Just because I have a problem. It's still kind of cool that it has, you know, it says Renegade in there. And it does have that. And the uh, Jay-Z. M&M CD. So I guess at the end of the day, it's not an awful pickup, but it's not exactly something that I'm very proud of. At a garage sale, picked up Yu-Gi-Oh. This is just like a, basically just a, a, a trial version of the Power of the Chaos. Then I picked up this CD too. 
I paid 50 cents for that, so that's not a bad deal. Pawn Shop picked up NCAA Football 13 for two bucks. Uh, my next deal was a Facebook deal. The lady sold a Nintendo for 20 bucks, and in the background, I saw Code Veronica. So I asked her how much would she want for the Dreamcast games. She said she had wanted five bucks, and I said, did, it have, she, did she have anything else? She said yes, so I picked up everything for 20. Killer Instinct, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World, Crazy Taxi, and like I said, Cole Veronica. Cole Veronica these days is going for 30 bucks, which is kind of crazy. Crazy Taxi sold for 20, and these, you know, are between 15 and 20 bucks. Um, this game is going down in value, but I still got 23 bucks for that. Another deal where I picked up a Persona and all that stuff. Everything else is sold, but this for the one and only Power Player Paul. Um, so this is going for him. Uh, make sure to check out his channel. He's a really nice guy. He's going through some things, so it'd be cool if you can just check him out. Give him a little holler and say hello and say the man he sent you. So um, Power, Power Player Paul, just check him out. The link will be down below. At a pawn shop, picked up Young Indiana Jones and Metallica Guitar Hero. And for those two... I paid six bucks at I think this was at the flea market. Yes, I paid twenty bucks for Ape Escape Pump and Primed, Metro Prime, and the best game of the deal was Kirby Air Ride. This game right now is going for like fifty-five to sixty bucks. So very happy to pick that up. At Retro Game Plus picked up Nightmare on Elm Street for forty bucks. It goes for about fifty-five this day, so Happy to get it for 40 bucks. Um, this was at a Goodwill. Got Call of Duty 2 Ghost, um, Black Ops 2. This actually is going on trading at GameStop for $11. So this is going towards something that I'm trying to pick up. And SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. That should sell for like 14 bucks. At another pawn shop. Picked up WCW Super Brawl. Rambo, Crewball, Space Harrier, and Alex the Kid for 20, I mean for 40 bucks. Excellent deal. This game by itself, it is complete. Goes for like $55. So very happy, very excited to pick that up at a Goodwill. I believe I paid four bucks for this. Firefighter FD18, maybe like a $30 game. Garasso, Tony Hawk, Naruto. And SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. And for those three, I paid... I paid... Three bucks. So not a bad deal there. This sale was a little crazy. Um, basically, the unknown game hunter let me know that this sale was going on and they were selling box games. He couldn't make it there, so he kind of told me to try to check it out. The lady changed her mind, decided she wanted to sell everything in a bundle. I went there anyway. And thankfully, I was able to com convince her to sell me four games for 50 bucks. Those games were Rock and Ball, Complete, Dodgeball, Complete, Mad Max, Complete, and Friday the 13th, which is going for about 80 to 100 bucks these days. So for 50 bucks, it's actually a really good deal. I also picked up Resident Evil 2 for 50 bucks. So very happy to pick that up. Then the last deal of the day, I picked up three games for $110, which is a lot of money. But then again, the deal was worth it. Um, but the, two, the three games that I picked up were Zelda with the map, Emmanuel, Super Mario RPG, which is going right now for about 55 bucks. The Zelda is going for about 35 to 40 with everything in there. And then I picked up the pickup of the week. So this was a Facebook pickup. I paid one ten for everything, which is pretty good. But I got Zelda, the manual, the map, the actual game, Super Mario RPG, and Lufia. Basically, Lufia is the one I'm going to keep. I should be able to sell the other two and only pay like maybe thirty bucks for a complete Lufia. So that's a really good deal. 
So the pickup of the week was Lufia Complete. Um, the manual is a little beat up, but it's a game that right now is going for about $130. Once I sell um, the Zelda and the Mario RPG, I'm basically going to be paying maybe $25 to $30 bucks for a complete Lufia. So it's actually a very good deal, a game I did not have. So I'm very happy to add it to the collection. Another box game to add to the collection. And anytime you can add a box game to my collection, it's kind of like the main thing that I like to do. Boxes are my, you know, my, my, my thing. Uh, my kryptonite, I basically, when I see them, I got to get them. So very happy to pick them up. Very happy to get it for a very decent price. The week was good. Was able to add some stuff to my collection. Space Harrier is going to my collection. Alex the Kid is going there. I believe Rambo will keep all those four boxes. I'm very happy to pick those up. And of course, Lufia. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully, we'll see you all next week. Later.